How's it going, everybody? It's Pete J for Pete underscore J on YouTube, Pete J Play on Twitch. Back on some Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. As you can see, we currently have two uh, two cars in the garage. We have this uh, this Charger, um, which is a uh, this is a job. Somebody brought this in. We're gonna have to do some stuff to it, some stuff and some things. So, cannot start the car, knocking noise from the engine bay, and repair the damaged body panels. How many are there? There's quite a few. So, I think we're going to handle that today. And if we talk about this one here, the Katagari Katsumoto, uh, I believe it's a 97. Yes, it is. A 97 Katagari Katsumoto. And uh, this was our first junkyard find. And uh, once again, if you're familiar with the channel and you go back as far as the start I, I tend to get really excited about the game and I get I get a little bit out over my skis a little bit <laughs> and early in the early days I almost ran myself into bankruptcy because I didn't realize uh, you just can't go and, and buy everything under the sun you kind of have to have to pace yourself and I kind of did the same thing I think with this uh, Katsumoto and uh, um, I bought it, I got it from the junkyard, and I'm, I'm trying to get it fixed up and we'll sell it. I, I was excited about going through the process because I hadn't done it before. Um, this is typically, this is actually my first um, fully restoration. And I don't know if I'm going to get make enough money to, <laughs> to recoup what I'm going to spend to get it back into shape. It was in pretty bad shape. We have already fixed the, uh, um, the, uh, frame which is why you can kind of see it. you're like hey that doesn't look too bad well you should have seen it before we fix the frame uh last time i did do some work rebuilt the rear suspension um and started the rear brakes i still need a calipers cat two calipers and pistons um but then the rear brakes will be done uh we i think we've got one or two rims um that will go uh that i think we were able to fix to 100 percent so uh, maybe just some new tires, but then we'd have the rear end pretty much pretty much done. Uh, we did get a new fuel tank and a new fuel pump. Those are two main uh, parts of the fuel system, but obviously we're going to need more because the engine's still got to go go in. So we're going to need some more stuff. Uh, as far as the engine goes, this is what we have. Um, and I don't think I've bought anything for the motor. So. Um, what you see here, we were able to kind of fix on the uh, on the uh, bench, um, so that's pretty good. We got the the head. We got uh, I think we got well, we might have bought some. Did we buy cylinders? I can't remember. Or pistons, not cylinders. Pistons and piston rings. I can't remember if we did or not. Um, I definitely know we bought a new oil <laughs> oil filter, uh, but the rest of this stuff was was kind of I, uh, for the most part I think was fixed on the um, table. We don't have any necessary parts. Um, but I think we're going to take a break for a minute because one of the things I do want to do is I want to make sure that I am keeping track of how much I am spending. This is my inventory. I believe these are all... I don't know what these are. Because those are not Katagari Katsumoto parts. Okay, well, um, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna dump it. I'm just gonna dump all this stuff right in here because uh, move item to warehouse one, or do I want to move item to that would be B, I think, right? We go to B, or should I put them in here? That's my question. Um, most of this stuff is junk. We got a couple of rubber bushings. We can hold on to those, though. The rest of this stuff is junk. So I think I'm just going to put it into Warehouse 1, and we will deal with it at, at a later date. We'll keep those. All of this stuff is busted. And at some point, we'll go through and do a clean-out. Yeah, see, we bought some new pistons, because here's four. I'm believing those are from the category um but uh in the meantime while i'm i'm trying to come going back and compiling the list because i haven't been keeping track uh i'm going to hold off on doing any more work on the on the katsumoto just for a little bit uh, you know i say that but more than likely i'll finish the rear brakes today <laughs> um because it's just you know there are just a couple calipers and a couple pistons um and then uh and then we'll take a look at the wheel situation but 
we still have to do, you know, we still need a trunk. We need uh, rear lights. Um, we're going to need windows all the way around. We need a couple of doors. We need, you know, we, we need a lot of stuff. So, uh, and then of course we still got the whole front end to do. We got to put the motor back in. We got to do the suspension. We got to do all that good stuff. Um, but, uh, uh, my good friend, Roger Maxted, he reached out to me, let me know that, um, you know, uh, maybe thinking about picking up a dyno might be a good idea. <laughs> He's giving me little little hints, which I appreciate. He's a good friend of the, the channel, and I appreciate hearing from him each and every time I do, and I, I, uh, I thank him very much. Um, I have 57,993 credits. I said I was going to wait until I got to 60,000 credits before I bought the dyno. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look. One part not discovered. We got a lot of knocking noise from the engine bay and front bumper okay so let's run our tests i think that's probably the best place to start right no we need to do this first select tests this is too old for an obd scanner um so we'll go with the, the engine cannot be started okay um engine cannot be started there is a ignition coil here that is all just on just on looking at it you can see that this is in bad shape so Let's go ahead and uh, let's pull this ignition coil B. That's a 26%. So um, I don't think we can fix an ignition coil, but let's take it over to the... Um, I still think if they, sh they could open up one of these so we didn't have to run all the way back to the shop. That would be, that would be slicker than snot. You know what I mean? Um, just because I like to check. I mean, the whole thing, um, we've talked about it before. If you're new to the channel, don't... Oh, we can repair it. Okay. So, this is a tapper mini game. You start it, and uh, the thing's going to move. 13% on fail, 20, 36% on success, and 26% current. Okay, so let's go ahead, and uh, we're going to go aim for the green area. Start repairing. To start repairing, we hit that. Now the bar is moving. We got to try and hit a green. We got that. Okay. So that's raised it to 36%, and now chance of instant repair has gone up to 45%. And we should we should have more green to aim for. Oh, failure. Okay, that was not good. Not happy with that. There we go. We don't have the necessary. Did that get 100%? Did I get 100% on that? I did. Okay, cool. Well, I'm sorry I hit the fail, but uh, as you can see, the more you repair it, um, the, the more you know you hit that green, uh, the more likely you are to hit it because you get a big, bigger, better chance to do that. So we'll put that ignition coil in. Since we only had one part that we were looking for, it looks like that was it. So knocking noise from the engine bay. Um, why do I have a feeling it's going to be pistons and pistons? <laughs> Why do I get this nasty feeling that I'm going to have to tear down what is basically a mostly beautiful engine? Oh, there's a there's a fan that needs to be replaced right there, along with a water pump. Maybe we're going to get lucky here. The last couple of uh, jobs we've done, again, if you're new to the channel and you haven't seen it, it, it has they've been in very internal uh, either crankshafts or or pistons or and in order to to make those repairs obviously you really have to tear down the uh the engine pretty pretty uh get it down to almost just the block and there's a lot of work involved takes a lot of time obviously and uh it's hey look at that i'm right inside the uh fuse panel <laughs> fuse box all right, but just now on, on just on superficial visualization, right? I mean, you can see the uh, radiator fan uh, is in bad shape. We can see that this water pump pulley is in bad shape. Um, so we're, you know, we're, obviously we're going to need to fix those or replace those two. We also, I also saw that there's a starter motor back here that's in bad shape. That may even keep us from being able to start the engine. But that's, you know, pretty much that's all I'm seeing which makes me fearful. Let's see if we can't run some tests now once we've got the uh, starter replaced. So we're going to try fuel. Yeah, still can't be started. Okay. 
Okay, dokie. But we're going to try an electronic multimeter. We should be able to run that. Right, folks? A starter V8 is shot ski. Uh, everything else kind of looking okay. Kind of 67. I think that might be the lowest I've seen, but still better than 50%. Let's get the starter out. Yeah, let's get the starter out. Okay. Uh, shut this, because we don't want to chip the guy's nice paint job there. Get her up in the air, and it's only going to go up to there. I need it to go up higher. Needs to re-chrome these uh, fenders, otherwise this would be cherry. Oh, they're going to tell me I should have taken... Oh, okay. I was going to say... Pull this out. Starter V8. Let's take the starter over to the bench and see if we can get her fixed up here. You do not have the necessary parts. That means we cannot fix it. Wait. See, this says body. So that's just body parts, right? Uh, <laughs> I'm assuming. Um... Let's put this, we're going to hit the space bar to add that to our shopping list. We'll now go down to our tablet. Nope, you know why? Because the starter is an electronic part. So you will not find it in the car main shop. you got to go to the electronic shop. Hit the tab button to bring up our shopping list. We're going to click on it. There she is, 95 credits. It's listed as 95. They're going to sell it to us for 85. So we're going to pick, we're going to save 10 credits. Then just for the sake of bookkeeping, we're going to hit the tab button again. We're going to hit the X to get rid of that. Tab to close it, and then X to get clear the search. Now everything is ready for us when we come back the next time. Otherwise, I've run into that where I've left stuff sitting on the uh, shopping list. Only to uh, get into shopping mode again and can't, not being able to remember whether I had purchased the item or not purchased the item. So, Okay, so... What upsets me about that is it says, you know, car will not start. They said only one piece, which was the ignition coil. A car cannot start ignition coil. We've replaced that. Why? This is part of the knocking noises from the engine bay repair damage. Okay. Let's, uh, let's try to run some tests now, see if we can't get it. Hopefully this thing will start. There we go. And we're just going to run the whole thing just to kind of see. And more than likely, we'll take it over onto the uh, test path. Carburetor's fine. Fuel filter and the fuel pump are fine. That's very good. Um, we're looking at... I always do tire trade. You know, I, I mean, because I think it's a little bit more than just tires, right? It's vintage tires. 68, 67... 69 so it's not more <laughs> it's not more than just tires sorry folks um we checked the electronic multimeter and that told us that the starter was shot we don't need to run that again we're going to go with the crankshaft engine block it's going by quickly here i'm not seeing anything oh good piston rings look like they're okay rocker arms look like they're okay okay Woo. nothing there so engine knock we know what that is right we've seen a couple of parts i think we probably should go ahead and replace the parts we're seeing so um okay so the first thing we want to do is we're going to drain the cooling system because otherwise we're going to have we're going to pull the water pulley water pump pulley right so that's empty now we don't have to worry about possibly uh Spilling. Ooh. Let's spray that with some DW400. Isn't that what it is? Radiator fan B. We've got to get this water pump pulley off. Um, and as you can see, we're going to have to remove this belt to be able to remove this belt, which will allow us to remove the water pump pulley. Oh, I guess we didn't need to remove the. <laughs> we didn't need to drain it, but we did. So. There's that. So that's two more parts from our list. 
we still got one, two, three, four, five, six parts that are not listed and knocking noise from the engine bay, which that can be K uh, crankshaft bearing caps. So we may still, we don't have any parts. Okay. So we may still have to drain the oil out of this and drop the oil pan to make, just kind of do a visual. Um, is there a way to examine the crankshaft bearing caps without? Uh, I didn't put anything on the list. Sorry, I'm thinking. And as you can see, I can't do that and, f <laughs> and, and other things at the same time, man. It just don't work. It just don't work. Water pump pulley. List for 15. We'll pick it up for 13. That's not bad. Hit the X button on that. We're going to go ahead and delete that. No. Hit the X button on that. We're going to go ahead and delete that. Go in here. Radiator B. List for 340. We're going to get a 306. Well, that is an expensive radiator fan, if you ask me. But nobody does. Nobody does. I'm just the guy who does the work. That's all, you know. Mine is not the question why. Mine is but to do or die. So, I will do as I am told. We're going to put that back on. Um, and we'll put the fan back on. That should be all right. And we'll go here. Okay. So that's done. I think what we should probably do for now uh, is take it over to the, which test did I not do? I didn't do the electrical because we had done that and that's how we discovered the starter, but I'm just going to run it one more time. Starter's at 100, ignition coil's at 100. We got all sorts of fuses. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to figure out if there's a test that will allow me to check the crankshaft bearing caps um because i'm thinking that's where we're that's where we're going to be at we're going to be at crankshaft bearing cap um let's get it down on the ground we'll take it now that it's uh, it'll start we can get it over to the test path we're going to move it and we're going to go to don't have the dyno we're going to the test path let's see what we can get there luckily we travel with the car which is nice the engine cannot be started why can't it be started i thought we i thought we solved that oh you know why um because pete forgot to put stuff in the uh forgot to refill the cooling system Okay, can we start it now? I mean, I was getting it started back in the shop. The engine cannot be started. Why can the engine not be started? All right, well, then you need to go back to two, I think it was, right? Why can you not be started? All right, well, let's do it the old fashioned way. We're gonna go jack it up. We're gonna get the, uh, drain the oil. We'll just, we'll just drop the oil pan. We'll take a look. We'll take a look in the book. Why will it not start? I didn't do anything, did I? I mean, I didn't miss something, did I? Um, I put everything back. I put the starter back on, didn't I? Let's just, Double check. You put the starter on, right? And I put the ignition coil there. Yeah, there it is. The starter's on. The ignition coil is on. Right? Yeah, there it is. Um, electrical system supposedly is working, right? The battery is working. If I go to my... Yeah, battery is at... Car battery, zero of zero. <laughs> um, power steering reservoir. So, 
where would I put my money? I, I guess, uh, I guess I would. Carburetors, okay. We've already checked that. Okay. Um, I'm just checking them. Might, might as well, right? You're here. We've got the tool. I can't figure out how to turn it off, so, <laughs> so I might as well just check stuff out. There we go. Uh, everything's looking so far so good, right? Everything's fine. Um, I can't check the strut. Brake booster. Zero, oh, zero. Oh, wait, wait, wait. All right. Um, I would like to go back to normal mode. There we go. Okay, thank you very much. We've drained the oil, so let us remove this oil pan, and we'll see what we can see. As far as oil pan, oh yeah, see we got a couple of crankshaft bearing caps here. There's one here and there's one there, so that's two. <laughs> I, I know you didn't need me to tell you that, but... That's for my own bookkeeping in my own head. You know what I mean? One plus one equals two, Pete. There you go, buddy. You're doing all right. <laughs> all right, we're going to grab these two real quick. But uh, it does look like the pistons and the um, rod caps, I think they're doing okay. Um, nothing, nothing seems to be upset with those. Crankshaft, uh, everything turns red. I'm trying to get to, yeah, the crankshaft looks nice and clean. No problems. Rod caps, piston rods, and the pistons look okay. Uh, we did run the compression test, and we saw, wait, 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 wait. What's, what's this here? Why is this? Okay. I don't, know. I don't think that's bad part, though, because this over here, too, looks the same, kind of the same. Yeah, it's sort of these. Okay, so that's just a, that's just a color variation thing. Okay, I can dig on that. So, um, so yeah, I'm okay with that crankshaft, and and all that is good. Let's go take a look and see if we can fix these uh, bearing caps. If not, we'll just purchase a couple new ones, and uh, that will be done. Uh, no, we're not gonna mess with that because you're more inclined to just create problems okay so we're at 56 percent now don't screw it up pete i like the three oh you couldn't give me that <laughs> you couldn't just give me that pete did a good job let him have it all right so we only need to buy one crankshaft bearing cap we'll go ahead and check our inventory and we're going to grab this and space bar to put it on our list tablet tab to bring up the list Bearing caps going for 43 credits list. We're getting it for 38. I am their best, best customer. customer. Sometimes I think I'm their only customer. It's a joke because it's a game and I am their only customer. <laughs> All right, so we got this going on. We're going to put these back in and then we can. We're going to go with. Well, both of these needed to be repaired. Placed, and they're both hundos, so we're okay. Okay, oil pan. 81%. Again, you don't want to spend money for the client that they don't want to spend. So, um, we could have fixed it for them. It would have cost us some credits, which again, you know... Uh, that wouldn't keep it from starting, though, would it? We got up here. We got a bad nut. That's about it, though, right? Or is that pushing? Is that pushing shot? I don't think so. I think it's just. Uh, I think it's just a rusted nut. I think that's all we got here. I don't think it's too bad. What about? Um, we got some bushings up here. Again, they turn red. I don't think that's too... That's not in bad shape, that one. Neither is that one. Another one in here. Another one up there. Like I say, they're looking good to me. I don't think it's going to be a bushing issue, but you never can tell, and it doesn't hurt to look. 
knocking noise from the engine bay. This one here. Uh, can we move back a little bit? That one looks okay. Can't really tell. If we do this, that section was already looked at. Let's take a look over here at this suspension. Mm -mm. Nope, nobody's going to help me out here. Okay. Uh, that I think is all right. Cam gear. All right, it's a picture of a pretty well cared for engine. Knocking noise from the From the engine. Uh, do we possibly drop the drive shaft and take a look inside the? Uh, oop! Take a look inside the two four parts, and then we got body panels to repair. Um, I guess in for a penny, in for a pound, right? Yeah. Uh, I dropped the engine, the drive shaft, I guess. And we'll take a look at the crank, uh, the gear box. And see if maybe there might be something internal. Even though the gearbox itself looks like it's in good shape, we could be looking at. Oh, uh, we got to take that uh, starter off again. Which is dangerous for me because I forget to put them back on. Constantly. All right, let's pull this gearbox, and we'll see if we have any issues that we need to deal with. No, that's clean, man. That is clean right there. So no gearbox issues. Clutch release bearing. We got a roasty toasty. Good. That's good. Yeah, these are all okay. All right. Well, we pulled them, so we know they're not the problem. Seventy-nine percent, seventy-four percent, sixty-five percent. Getting a little bit lower, but still not problematic at this point. Lease bearing, we'll put the gearbox back on. Drive shaft, whoop. Oh, drive shaft. All right. Knocking noise coming from the engine base. So, I have not refilled the engine with oil yet. Is that why it wouldn't start before? I'll bet you that's why it wouldn't start before. I took it over to the... No, that was before I, I dropped the oil pan. So, no, it had oil in it. Um, What are we doing, Pete? We're going to... Uh, let's pull... Ouch. <laughs> That came real close to being on my head. Let's... All right, we're having ignition problems. I think we try... I think we're going to pull the ignition wires. And let's pull the distributor and see what the rotor looks like. 72% um, for the wires. So, it, oh, this cap needs to be replaced. That, I mean, right away you can see that. Pete, where you been at, brother? Brother! Clip B, we'll get this distributor cap off. 
Mel, it's at 68%, so it's not bad. This rotor is in good shape. It's not bad either. 77%. Um, I'm not even going to pull that. I'll ah, pull it. 68%. So not 100%, but they're not they're not bad enough to be causing the problem. So great. I would have thought for sure this distributor cap is a little discolored. Um, before we put the ignition wires back on, let's take a look at some uh, of these uh, spark plugs. The spark plugs look fine. Yeah, spark plugs look fine. Okay, um, so what what now, right? We still have no oil in it, so let's pull these head covers and take a look underneath, see what we can see here. Maybe it's a push rod, maybe it's a rocker. Well, didn't we, didn't we do something where they checked the rocker arms? I thought we I thought there was a I gotta remember what tests do what because I'm gonna have to make a note for myself because I forget. I know there was one that checked the rocker arms, I thought. And these look fine. So I think Alright, we're seeing push rods. This one here. There's one there. Um, so, yeah, we're going to need to pull some of these. Uh, there's one down here that looks like it might need to be get pulled, too. So that's at least three. Uh, okay. Well, nothing to it but to do it, right? Buckle down, buckaroo, get it done. That's our new slogan. Buckle down, buckaroo, and see it through. You think it would sell if I put it on a t-shirt? You think that would sell? Look at that. I'm coming up with merch. I'm not even monetized yet, and I'm already coming up with merch. 79%. 67%. There's one. We got one. Okay. All right, so we got two on this side. Let's go, um, and I'll show you the trick that Roger Maxted has taught me. When you sit at the feet of the master, you tend to learn a thing or two. I don't need any of those things. So we're just going to buy some new push rods, right? I got to be careful that I'm not. Yeah, there's no scrolling. Yeah, that's it. Okay. We need two push rods. Um, we'll just have to buy new. Um, we need that one, space bar, and we need that one, space bar, although they're the same, really. Better just uh, tab it out. No, first you gotta, <laughs> first you gotta go here. Then you tab it out. Then you click on it. Then you go here. Five credits. We're gonna pick up, they're gonna give it to us for four. I'm gonna hit the uh, right arrow to raise it to two. We're up to eight credits. And we'll go ahead and we'll take that. All right, so now we're gonna go put these push rods back in but my oh my where would they go i forgot completely this is where the trick comes in this is awesome watch this so now we don't know remember where those hundreds hundred percent should go so we're going to go here knocking noise and here's our two push rods we're going to go ahead and light click on the the uh, star next to the two of them we'll close this out and if you go close uh, we got to be in. There you go. See the two blue ones that are lit up? This one and this one that tells us those are the two that need the, the new 100% one. So we're going to put that one in here. And we're going to put this one in here. Now, we can put the rest of these anywhere we want. doesn't matter. I like to go back and forth. So, because it always gives you the, the highest rated ones first. So that way we're not putting all the highest rated ones together and all the lowest rated ones together so this way we can kind of mix them up but we know that the two blue ones those are the ones that we had to fix to a hundred percent those are the ones that were broken so again that that i can't tell you what a what a godsend that was when he when he let me know about that because i was sitting here with a pencil and paper and i'm writing everything down and yeah everything took a lot longer so and then of course once you're done 
um, you can go back in and just turn off, click on the stars again, that'll turn that off. So we can do that. We'll go ahead and put this all back together because we know we've gotten that taken care of. Now we're going to swing around to the other side, and I believe we had a couple of uh, a couple of push rods on this side that need to be replaced as well. So uh, again, big thanks to Roger Maxted for the for the tip. Thank you, my friend. All right. So there we go. So now we're going to start pulling push rods. This one is 17%, so that needs a replacement. 71, 71%, 71%, 80%, 78%, 82%, 81%, so maybe there's just the one, huh? Okay. Very cool. We'll, uh, we'll pick up a new one. Already got it up there. Look at that. X tab. Get that out of there. We'll go ahead and we remember it's the first one, so we'll go ahead and just put that in there. Let's go over here. I'm hoping that's going to be the end of it now. I'm nice. We'll have some uh, body panels we need to replace, but then that'll be it. Oop, oop, oop. Rock our arms back on. Okay. Very cool. We'll pick up some cash from here. Hopefully we'll get the over 60 grand. To be honest with you, I feel like we're close enough that if I picked up the dyno, I, I think I'd be okay with that. Um, do I do that yet or no? Starter. We got one more part not discovered. So what? So what? Um, one more part not discovered. Oh, we got to put the clips on. Try to button it up as we go here. Do I have to get under the car? No, I can put it on from here. Cool. I'm happy with that. All right, we have one more part not discovered. I'm going to take a look at this. Remove a that. Oh, I think the filter's okay. Yep, oh, 75%. What could he be? Um, it's not the carburetor. I think we we tested the carburetor. It wasn't a bad shape, right? Carburetor, seventy-five percent. Okay. It's not the fuel filter. We'll pull it just to make sure. But yeah, fuel filter seventy-five percent as well. So it's not that. Okay, now I'm stumped. Now I'm stumped. What are we looking for here, folks? What are we looking for? What are we looking for? Camshaft? Could it be? I thought we had something that tested that already. Um, that's the only thing I can think, right? There's a bolt, but that's just one bolt. I don't think that's a big issue. Okay. Um... 
let's run some tests because I know one of them has to test the, the, the camshaft, right? One of them has to test the camshaft. So it does not have an OBD, so we're not going to do that. We don't need the drain tool. Fuel pressure test. Um, carburetor is fine. Fuel filter is fine. Fuel pump is fine. Okay, so that's done. It's not that. What if we went with the... Uh, no, it's just electronic multimeter. We already did it, but I know I'm trying to find anything I can do. Can Will this start now? <laughs> That's my question. Ignition coil, medium fuse types. Relay types are good. Relay type C, okay. Relay type B, okay. Battery's okay, okay. Um, battery's at 79%, okay. Uh, wow. All right. So, compression tester. I think we got to get it to the test pad. Crankshaft. Piston rings. All right. Piston with Conrad. 66, 67, 68, 68, 70. Um, piston rings. Engine block is fine. Crankshaft is fine. So yeah, we're not... Alright, so we've got coolant in it. Let's fill it with oil. Maybe that's why we've got the starter on it. Yeah, I, want, I really want to get it on the test pad. But before it told me I, it wouldn't start. But I'm thinking it's because... What was that? Okay. Um, all right, we're going to disconnect. We're going to drop that. Uh, I'm hoping we can get it on the test path now and that it will start. I can't understand. There's one part missing, right? One part is missing. On this part not discovered. Part not discovered. I'm thinking it's the camshaft. That's what I'm thinking. Um, but I think it should start, right? The engine cannot be started. Why? <sighs> Why? Why can the engine not be started? All right, uh, you go back to two, and we're gonna have to tear it down. We're gonna have to pull the. I'm, I'm betting. I'm betting it's the camshaft. I'm betting. What else could it be? Right, the electrical system is fine. So we got no issues with the electrical system. We've got spark. In other words, there's no problems with the fuel system. So we have fuel. We have spark, we have fuel. Why do we not have... That's my question. Distributor is fine. Cap and the wires are fine. Um, yeah, it's the only thing I can think of. So, so we're going to have to drop um, fluids. We're going to have to take remove fluids. Let's uh, remove the um, coolant. Um... I think that should be all, right? Because we're going to remove the fuel pump. So, uh, not the fuel pump, the uh, water pump. Uh, so, I think, I think we're okay with that. That's going to come off. That's got to come off. Water pump pulley is going to come off. We have to, we're going to have to remove these things because they're, Bolted onto the water pump, and I believe the camshaft is behind the water pump. So let's pull the alternator, which is in fine shape. Again, that's that could be another thing that keeps your car from starting is the, the alternator. But it's fine. And I think it gets tested when you test the electrical. So I don't... And then we've got the power steering pump. All right, and it's got a... It's actually got a... 
this mounting arm on it. So that's got to come off. Um, ignition coil, that's... I Can I... Yeah, I can take that off. Okay, we're going to take the water pump off. All right, so there's our timing cover. We are going to have to remove the crankshaft pulley as well. Okay. There it is. And let's pull this cover. And we'll see what this has in store for us underneath here. The world of surprises. The wonderful world of Disney. Um, timing chain. 11%. 11%. Do I continue my quest? My Johnny quest as I go through? Um, camshaft at 79%. Okay, so I was off. It wasn't the camshaft. It was the timing chain. So let us purchase a new timing chain. I'm going to stay here until they deliver it. I'm just going to stay. I'm just gonna stay right here in this this position till they bring it. 60 credits, we'll get it for 54. Of course we will. Of course we'll get it for 54. Ah, all right, we already got it. Put the new timing chain on. We'll put the cover back on. All right, not bad. Yeah, the last uh, the last few missions, boy, we really had to do almost complete teardowns of, of engines. Um, much easier to do when you're, you know, rebuilding an, a car because you can just take everything off. But when you're trying trying to do it while maintaining some kind of order with the with the with the vehicle, you know, um, it gets a lot harder. So water pump is back in. My question is, and this is my ignorance, and I, I'll, I'll, I'll own that, you know. Does having a, a bad timing chain, does that prevent the engine from starting? I don't think it does, does it? I mean, it'll run, it'll run like crud, but I think it will at least start, won't it? Obviously, it's a game, you know. They can't, you know, they've got to try and... Because there's no audio, you know, you can't hear that it's running like crud. They have to, you know, they got to simplify it to a certain point. So, you know, your timing, cheer, your timing chain is shot, so you can't hear that it sounds like crud, but we're going to just tell you it can't start. Does that make sense? Let me know in the comments. Am I right or am I wrong? I, I Like I said, I tend to feel like... A bad timing chain won't keep the engine from starting. It just will run really poorly, right? Pause for Pete to count in his head. <laughs> so there you go. All right. I think we've got it, folks. We did. Knocking noise from the engine bay was the water... No. Was the... Push... No. It wasn't the push rod. It was the timing chain. There we go. There she is. Right there. Okay. Now we're going to disengage. We're going to shut this down. We're going to put this back on the ground because we're going to be doing body work now. We don't need to have it up in the air. So this person would like for us to repair the front bumper, the front right door window, the left headlight, the left side mirror, the left taillight, the right side mirror, and the windshield. So we're going to grab this windshield. We're going to grab this left headlight. That's right left headlight we're gonna grab the front bumper which is something I was left front door window front bumper there it is left headlight left side mirror left headlight okay front bumper we're gonna grab that we're going to grab we're on the left side Pete remember that left headlight we got left side mirror okay Left side mirror, a tail light. Which one though? Front bumper, front right door window, left headlight, left side mirror, left tail light, right side mirror and windshield. Left tail light, right side mirror, 
What else you got for me? Front right door window. I think that's it. Front right door window. There it is. Okay. So we have our stuff. Our stuff and our things. Let's go um, see if we can't do some work in the body shop. Um, Dodge Charger front bumper. There we go. It's locked. I can't. I got to get the renov Renovator 6. Oh, poop. Aww. Oh, poop. <laughs> That's such poop. All right, so we're going to have to buy this guy all new stuff, and he won't be happy with that because it costs, boy. It costs some cash money on the barrel head. 60% for the right door window. Mirror, taillight, mirror, bumper. I'm not buying a new license plate. Left headlight and windshield. There we go. Now we're going to go to our shop. We're going to go to the bodywork shop. We got a Dodge Charger. We need to get a right door window. See, list for 170. We'll get it for 153. That's not a bad deal. We're going to go X tab. I'm going to get rid of that one. And we're going to go here. 75 we'll get it for 67 not much of a break there but what are you gonna do i gotta get to level six save my clients some cash money on this we'll get that 10 credits off on that one x uh tab Front bumper. 250. It's listed at 250. We're getting it for 225. All right. We've got a left headlight. 150. Wow. That's because it's got those uh, louvers, man. 130, 135? Yeah, 135. Two ten, we'll get it for one eighty nine. Not a bad deal. All right. Now it's assemblage time. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna select. No, we didn't want to select that. Go back down. We're gonna go to assemble mode, and we'll put the front bumper on. Go with the one hundo. I gotta put that license plate on too, otherwise. It's from Hungary. They got a Dodge Charger out there in Hungary. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. American muscle around the world, huh? Get that on there. Tail light goes on there. That's a nice looking tail light right there. We got a front right door window and a right side mirror. And I think that's going to put a polish on this one, bro. That should put the polish on this one. Yeah, we're done with that. Let's go ahead and we're going to move this puppy. Uh, can we go to normal mode? Thank you. Normal mode, we'll go to three. So I'm going to put this in my brochure. <laughs> Look at that. Huh? That sells the place, doesn't it? That'll sell the place. Uh, isn't there? There's a, there's a photo mode. There it is, photo mode. All right. So, oh. I would like for this to stay where it is. Is there any way? No, I didn't want to do that. How do I take photo settings? There we go. Okay. Field of view. Um, I think I'm okay with that. Exposition. Exposure. I think I think you need mean exposure. Here's a dark exposure. Here's a light exposure. We're gonna go a little bit darker. I think. Height. I'm okay with that. Tilt. Oh, whoa. <laughs> uh, can we go back to zero? Is there any way to go back to zero percent? There, no. Minus, there we go. Okay. Depth of field. We're going to go that way. Aperture. Aperture. That doesn't seem... Does it seem to do anything for you guys? You break, we fix looking out in the mountains I don't really see much change so I'm not sure what the aperture does focal point again same kind of thing I'm not sure what that does so let's let us let's leave it at zero I guess if we can get it to zero 
and aperture at zero. Okay. Um, hide settings. Oops. There it is. It's going right on the... Oh, we can focus. That'll be our next brochure right there. Okay, so we're going to call this guy and, uh, or gal. Shouldn't presume, but we'll go ahead and let them come get their car, finish this order up. There it is. We're up to level 22. No, we're at XP 22 of 145. 1425. Pete, slow down. I have 22 experience points. I have to get to 1425 to get to level 18. We have just leveled up to level 17. So so there we are. We have that done. Um, let's go ahead and finish the brakes on this. Then we can hopefully call it... Uh, let's go see if we have a caliper and a piston or two in the uh, shop here. Uh, warehouse one. Can we go V? No, we got to... This is our... What we're carrying. This is... Okay. Inventory, that means basically what you have on hand, what you have in your hands. That's what this is. When you hit this button, that takes you to your warehouse. From here, if you hit the V button, you get a list of different warehouses. Um, you have up to six, it looks like. As you can see, I took warehouse one and I just renamed it 1997 Katagari Katsumoto. And I threw all the parts that I took off the Katsumoto into... Uh, into this into this warehouse so I, I they're separated I know where they are and as a matter of fact uh, before I do this let's go back to I'm gonna go V and then warehouse one because I think you all saw what I saw but we're gonna go ahead and left click now on these parts which will be moved into my inventory my regular warehouse my catch-all be all warehouse except for those we'll keep those because I like them I like them I like them a lot uh, we're going to close that. Now we're going to go to the Katsumoto. And if you saw what I saw, a brake caliper at 100%. Let's grab that, put that in our inventory. That moved to our inventory, so now we're carrying that with us. Also, 100% brake caliper cylinder. We're going to grab that as well. And here's another one. 100%, 100%. There we go. What do we got in the way of rims? We got one here. Room classic rim. That's at 100%. Do we have another? South Carolina. South Carolina. Spent many a happy summer in South Carolina. Aww. My in-laws used to live there. Had a nice place out in the woods. It's cool. It's way cool. Right off a golf course. It was awesome. Awesome sauce, Chief. Awesome sauce. So we're going to do this because it's not going to cost us anything so we're not adding we got that and that we're gonna put those on there and that's ready for a tire we can do that same here and that's just reusing parts folks that's the way we like to do it here at pete's garage because we're cheap <laughs> we are cheap we don't need to buy it we won't buy it we will fix it Hand me the duct tape and the DW40-400, and we will get her done. Um, what else do we have? We do, I was talking about, okay, we have this. We'll take it. We're going to need a couple of sport tires. Do we have another Hundo percent rim? We do. Let's go with that one. Sport tire, 235-30R18s. I think we will spend a couple of credits picking up a couple of tires, and then... Uh, with the exception of the exhaust, we'll have the rear end pretty much done. 235-30R18s. 235-30R18s, right? Uh, sport tires, they were. I'm going to go with two of them. 18, oop, 18, 235, oop, 235, 
Two thirty-five thirty R eighteens. We're getting two of them. It's going to cost us one thousand one hundred fifty-two credits. That's a ten percent discount. Oosh, oosh, oosh. Right, but a little bit of progress. A little bit of progress. I told you before. I can't. I can't stop. I know what I'm supposed to do, but I don't do it because <laughs> that's just how I am. I'm just overly eager. Got alarms going off over here. It's just crazy. It's going crazy in here. People running around, making a lot of noise while you're trying to fix things. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, what uh, A and D? That's what I'm looking for. I'm going to A and D, and we're gonna go here. Oh, balance, balance. There we go. That one's balanced up. We're gonna take that. We're gonna put this one together here. She's coming along. She's coming along. Reminds me of uh, the I think it was the first brand new car I ever bought. Like I'm a kid, don't know no better, <laughs> don't have a lot of cash, <laughs> but I needed a car. Um, so what I did was I bought me a Chevy Cavalier. So this kind of reminds me. Last time we were in, I kind of was looking at it, and I'm like, this kind of looks like the Cavalier I had. It was a two door sporty little number didn't have the nice paint job but um but it kind of reminds me of that and that cavalier drove me nuts because what would happen is in the summertime the ac would go out right so i take it in and they would fix the ac and i'd be happy I would just picture a happy peak driving down the road happy peak got his air conditioning um but then what would happen is we get to um, the winter time, and y'all know in Illinois, winters are, can, can be pretty cold. So I go to turn on the heat, and there's no heat, right? So I take it in, and they fix the heat for me. It's very nice, very nice. Again, Happy Pete driving down the street with his heat. Happy Pete driving down the street with his heat. Um, and uh, and, I was, and and things were right with the world. And then come summertime, I go to turn the air conditioner on, and there'd be no AC. And I'd be like, I mean, this was every year. Eventually, I just stopped getting the AC fixed and just drove around with the windows open. So there you go. Um, all right. So that's going to be enough for the category. We did spend over a grand, and I didn't want to. We got, uh, we were able to, I got lured in because we had the calipers, we had the pistons, and uh, it didn't cost us anything. Obviously, um, it did cost us something to, to, to repair them to 100%, and that will be in the list. Um, but then I got I got in and I was like, well, let's go ahead and finish it off. We got the tires on. Uh, again, we are going to have to put some exhaust back here. Um, but outside of that, the the, the back end is done. Um, I think before we really get it, I, can we do the suspension? We can't really do the suspension without the engine, though, because without the drive shaft and uh, the axles and stuff like that, which connect to the engine, you can't really put the wheels on. So I think the next thing we'll do is we'll work on the motor some more, try and get this done. Um, I wish I could do an x-ray view of the engine to see uh, what's happening. I think everything is inside. And like I said, I think I got the oil pan. Uh, I got the crankshaft. Um, and I think I got all the pistons and piston rings in there. So, you know, we need, we got, we need another camshaft here. Uh, for the dual overhead cam, we need spark plugs. You can see we're going to need an engine head, fuel rail. I think we need two of those, one on each side, don't we? No. That's the exhaust manifold. Okay. Yeah, they're, it's a four-cylinder. Okay. So, um, so yeah, we still got some stuff to do, but we, uh, we'll get this tacked up and drop that back into the car, and then I think we can finish up the front end as well. But before we go, let's go ahead and load up. Um, oh, we did want to do some other stuff. That's right. Uh, let's take a look at the toolbox. We have 10 skill points, which is great. But first thing we want to do, we want to get this dyno, I believe. 20 grand. It's going to take us to 38,000. I don't know. Do I want to go that low? I was really hoping to get to 60 so that I'd be at least 40 grand. Um, well, that's only 2 grand, give or take. 7,500. I'm going for the dyno. 
I'm gonna go for the dino. I got it under good authority that I'm gonna need it, so we're gonna take it. No, I'm not gonna get out over my skis. I'm gonna hold. I'll hold on. Okay, I do need um, repair level. This is renovator level six. This this will allow me to fix everything that I can fix. Um, if I can't fix it, then it can't it can't be fixed. It's gonna cost me six skill points. I'm gonna go ahead and do it because I'm at that point where I just want to fix everything I can fix. Okay, so there we are. We're down to four. What do we got? We got uh, Eagle Eye cuts time to examine a part by five point oh five seconds. We've got increased mounting and unmounting speed twenty five percent. We've got increased screwing speed by twenty five percent. Okay, knock off the jokes. Okay, N stop with the jokes. Sorry, <laughs> I can I can hear y'all. I can hear y'all in my head. Uh, move faster by two percent. Um, I'm actually moving just fast enough for me. Um, uh, my screwing speed is just fine. Believe me, I'm okay. <laughs> Increased mounting and unmounting speed. Again, 25%. Uh, cuts time to examine a part by five seconds. Um, I think I'm moving fast enough, honestly. Uh, as far as you know, fast hands and strong arms. Uh, I guess I'm going to go with Eagle Eye. Let's go with Eagle Eye. We'll go Eagle Eye 3. And that will take care of that. So there we are. So we've increased our our, our abilities. Again, we're going to have to pick up these other ones. I, I just, you know, as far as I'm concerned, um, the game's moving, you know, at a, at a comfortable speed for me. I don't really feel like, oh, you know what? No, that's 5. I couldn't get it anyway. Uh, but the next uh, one will be regular customer 5% discount and then 25% chance to get a mysterious case after finishing an order. Oh cool. All right, so yeah, well definitely we need 11 11 skill points so we can unlock these two. So there's that. So we've increased our abilities. We've have uh 1 2 3 4 spots open. Let's grab four jobs. And uh, we'll take a look. What do we got here? 1911. This one's going to leave first, so we're going to grab this one. Change the oil Salem Canary. We're going to put you over in two. Okay. I don't really need to go to the phone. I can just grab this two. Let's take it. I want to take it. Did I get it? I got it. What? What is this vehicle? A Sakura Supa. I never saw that one before. All right. So we're five seconds. We're going to take it. I haven't seen any Mazdas. I bought the Mazda DLC and I haven't really seen any. Dodge Challenger RT. We got a lot of Dodges though, I'll tell you that. Uh, Hinata Kagura SX. Hey dude, you recognize me? Sure not. I'm the internet star of car racing. 110. Sakuro Yaro, poor brake performance. We got uh, Salem Kirin four wheel drive. Turbo. Four, four wheel drive turbo? Suspension fuel zoos. Okay, we got another one that came in Bolt Atlanta supercharged. I guess we'll go with the uh, story mission. No more spaces your garage can handle up to five cars at a time. I know, I only have four. Right? So give me this one. Don't start with me, because what I'll do is I'll just do this. You can go over to three. There you go. Now, if I answer the phone, I go here. Wait a minute, I got another one. Plymouth Barracuda 426 Hemi. Suspension feels loose, loud when accelerating. These are easy. No more spaces, your car. You can handle up to five cars at a time. Do I have a car that I don't know about? Here's my dino. There's no car to work on. Well, there isn't. Very cool. Okay, so here's my dino. Do I have... Uh, there's nothing in the car wash. This is kind of cool. So this was the building that they were... That were... Was uh, partially built. I don't have anything in the... Paint booth, right? 
No, there's nothing in the paint booth. Oh, I have a car. Why do I have a car? <laughs> All right, so I need to get this one done first. Oh, there's no door over here. Where's the door? I didn't. I thought there was another car. I didn't, but I didn't see it. So I was like, "What the heck?" All right. So what do we got? Um, I'm gonna have to jog around these cars. Uh. So you can go to. No, I'm sorry. You need to go to. Behind two. Wait a minute. Yes, you go behind two. You're going to go to one, and then I got to get that other one in here because that that lit literally should have been the next job. And I forgot, I spaced on it. Sorry about that, folks. I didn't realize I had another car there. So, over in the test pass. So, I must have just been trading places when I was kept moving the charger in here. And I just didn't see it. So, there we go. There's that. Let's take a look. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but let's see what we got here. All right, this is a 2010 Mio, Mi, Miovini URS. URS. Okay, an I4 single overhead cam, 4x4, fixed body parts and other tasks. Change the brake fluid and change the power steering fluid. Let's, let's get on it, folks. Change the brake fluid and the power steering fluid. We're going to go over here. We are going to go to not that. We're going to go to not that. We're going to go, okay. Any day now, Pete. There we go. We're going to pull that. Nope. Nope. We said change. So we need to go here. Drain tool. There we go. Brake fluid. Let's, uh... Okay. And now we want to do uh, this. And we'll refill it. Okay. Did say change, right? Yeah, change. Okay, change part of steering fluid as well. So we're going to swing around this way. There's the reservoir. Uh, we're going to drain the tool. I didn't mean to say it. Uh, we need the drain tool. <laughs> Pete, you're slipping, boy. You're slipping. All right, the reservoir dogs. Here we go. And we can see the window. So there's a little bit of color, but where there is the line. So it's coming up. And we're at max. So we're going to go ahead and top her off. Um, let's take a look. That's done. So we got body parts to fix. Let's go ahead and shut this. What do we want? What do we want in the way of fixing? Front right door, front right door window, and front right fender. Let's go ahead and take care of that. Front right fender. The uh, front right door window. And the front right door, but we're going to remove this right side mirror, and then we're going to get this door. Okay. Front right door, front right fender, the hood, left headlight, and the left side mirror. Okay, the hood, the left headlight, and the left side mirror. All right. Rear bumper, right side mirror, which I already have, and the trunk window. So the rear bumper and the trunk window. Trunk window rear bumper all right let's make our list we need a right uh rear bumper trunk window left side mirror left headlight hood right door right side mirror right door window and move movian front right fender hey we just got the six we just went up right Let's see if we can repair any of this stuff on our on our table here. This is the repair table body, it says. So I'm assuming. All right, here we go. Let's see how this goes, folks. We got that one. Okay. One down, one to go. Oh, failure. Failure. That's gone. We need to buy a new one. Dag, it. That one we got. That one we got. 
we got that one. Oh, we didn't get all of it. But we got most of it. There we go. That's all right. I'll take that. One more time. One more time. Dealer says, give me more. Hit me. Hit me. Got it. Okay. So we washed out on one part, but we uh, got the rest of them. We got some windows. What was it? Uh, which one was it? Must have been the headlight. I, I, no, it was the uh, right side mirror. Okay, let's go to our list. And we're going to get rid of all of this because I got a little out over my skis again. Let's try um, taking a look. We need that. That's for sure. Uh, we need that. And we need that. And we need that. So much, much shorter, much smaller shopping list. And that's good. We'll take that. Okay, so let's make our purchases and then we can go into assemblage mode. Um, and we'll take care of this one. This is, oh, I forgot to. Which one are you again, friend? You are the Miovian Veni? Mio Veni URS, right? Mio Veni? Mio Veni URS. There it is right there. Okay, we're going to call it up. Trunk window. 200 credits. We got that. We got that. We got that. We got that as well. The last of the glass. There it is. Okay. So here we go. Hold on. Just had to clear my throat. Assembly mode. We're going to put this left headlight in first. Wait a minute. Did I have two at 100%? Did I buy a second one? No, it's 50. Okay. The coloring just threw me off. That's a Hondo. Oh, it's already painted too. Kind of cool, because I didn't paint it. I know that. <laughs> Rear bumper. Trunk window. At the front right door. Front right door window. Right side mirror. And the right fender. I think we got it, boys and girls. Moms and dads, children of all ages, we have taken care of this order here. Let's get it out onto, we want to, oh, no, what we want to do is we want to go back here, go to normal mode. There we go. Now we move the car. We're going to move it behind one, and then that car can come, come in here, because that's the next contestant on The Price is Right. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. <laughs> All right, let's finish her up. Up over 40,000. I'll take it. I'll take that. Okay. Um, what do you got? The 1989 Salem Kieran with a i4 single overhead cam. Popular. Change the oil, inspect and replace the filters, general engine control and repair brake problems. Okay. Um, well, I guess we could probably start it. We can change the oil and inspect and replace the filters. Uh. Inspect and repair, general running gear problems. Oof, oof, oof. I see, uh, I see, uh, an OBS pump that's going to need to be repaired. All right. Well, um, I'm looking at a caliper there that uh, doesn't look like it's in great shakes either. Let's get her up in the air. We're going to change the oil first. That's pretty easy. Straight ahead. Easy to do. We'll get that done. Oh, we got to get it up a little bit higher than that, Pete. Thank you, my friend. Move the equipment to two. I'm going to drain this equipment here. That is some black oil. And that's not a whole lot of it. So I'm thinking down a quart or 12. 
Um, we are going to add that by hitting the X button. We'll go ahead and pull it. Well, uh, tablet. We got to go back to our general parts, and then hit the tab. There we go. X, X, and we're out. And we'll go ahead and reinstall that oil filter. There's that. Now, we've got uh, general running gear faults. So I think what we want to do is... Let's get into our examination mode. We have brake issues and general running gear faults. So uh, take a look here. Three, four. All right, so not bad. Suspension. Suspension's okay. What about over the side here? Okay. Fine and dandy like sour candy. Uh, 13 parts on the engine. Crankshaft pulley. Oh. I moved off. There we go. The pressure plate bearing cap. Okay, so by doing this, it, it will give you a, a rundown of, of what's under the... Uh, uh, gearbox. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> ABS module, battery, you can't test here. That's going to be a different set of tests. Okay. Oh. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so, normal mode. Um, we got to change filters. Uh, I think we might even maybe take a look at the brakes because that's pretty... There's a couple things that are scream just screaming at me. You know what I mean? Um, oil and filter. We got to put the new oil in. We're not going to do that just yet. Uh, so we want to change filters, which is air filter and fuel filter. So um, air filters in here. There we go. We're going to hit the X. Put that on the list. Pull that out. Um, air filter and the fuel filter, which is on the back side here of the engine. Go ahead and pull that out. All right, shopping. Um, we can just do fuel. And that will bring it up. 30 credits for a new filter. They're going to give it to us for 27. I'll take it. I will take it. We got a new fuel filter on there. It's very good. Um, we'll go ahead. You know what, can I, I can't really, I don't know if it will let me inspect this part. Can I inspect this with the examination air intake? It will, okay, very cool. 57%, very cool, okay. Um, shopping, X, tab, filter, nine credits. Then give me one credit on it. Uh, X, we'll get that. And are we in installation mode? There's that. All right, so now we've got the air filter and the fuel filter replaced. We've got the oil filter replaced. So again, the engine oil will be done as soon as we refill the oil, but I'm gonna wait, hold off. Well, I can't really, because I, I, I need to run some tests, right? Well, let's... Uh, We've got two, four, six, seven parts not found. Um, oh, what about the brakes? Well, how many parts are in the brakes? Two, four, six parts. Okay, so we know that one is over here. We know it's the uh, OBS module. Pump. I meant pump. Not module. The module's fine. The pump needs to be repaired. So we're going to pull that. We also know that by looking at the front brakes, just the front brakes from 
the inside out. They did not look like they were in very good shapes here. So let's take a look and see if we can't... Uh, no, that was wrong. This is what we want. Yeah, we're going to need a new uh, disc, actually. We've got the lathe, so I'm hoping I get to, uh, I can repair it on the lathe. That'll be fun. I do like the brake lathe. Uh, again, I've talked about it before. Um, there's not as much interaction, but it is kind of cool to have it, and it is cool, kind of cool to see it working, so I like that. Uh, so we need a new brake disc for this side. This might need a new cow. Oh, we got a bunch of bad bolts. All right, so let's get in here. We're going to spray that up. We're going to spray this up. We're going to spray this up. We're going to let it soak in just a little bit. So we'll start with this one, and this one, that one. This one looks like it needs some new discs too, and calipers. So we'll take a look. Again, we got quite a bit of stuff here to just work on. Um, it doesn't look like the pads are bad though. Pads look like they're okay. 73%, definitely okay. Okay, so let's grab these and uh, let's go see what we can do, folks. Trying to save our clients money, that's what we do here. Let's go straight to the lathe because I'm hoping it works. Come on, man. Help me out, brother. Oh, come on. Come on. What is the deal? What is the deal with that? Oh, they're at, they're at, yeah, they're shot. I think uh, Roger Maxted has has uh, uh, kind of spoke, you know, in some of his his communications. With me. I think it's got to be like 15% or more. I think in order for it to be uh, a candidate for repair. So um, obviously, at four and two percent, they are not. <laughs> they are not can candidates for repair. So we'll have to toss those. But um, I think we have a caliper. Uh, module's okay. We can do the pump. Let's try to do the pump. Great. So, there's that. Success. We got more to do. 76%. Okay, we're gonna... This is a big savings, but the ABS pump and module are very expensive to replace. So, alright. So, that's what we got here. Um... We are going to need brake discs. These are front. So are they ventilated? Typically, yes, they are ventilated. Okay. Typically what you find is on the front of vehicles, they have the ventilated brake discs. The backs just have uh, standard brake discs. So you want to make sure that you're, you're getting the right one um, all the time. All right, so... I'm here. No, I want to go here. Alright, I'm going to put this one on. We did not have the option of replacing the, um, I mean, uh, of repairing the caliper. So I want to light this up just so I know which side. It's on this side. Okay, so we're going to buy the new caliper. 75. I can't remember. I didn't see what we got it for, but we'll go ahead and put that on there. Okay. There's that. Okay. So let's go ahead and turn the blue off. We can turn off the highlight. Um, but now we're going to go over to the other side. And we can finish this one up. Brake caliper, 72%, 64%. We'll take it. There we go. And we'll get this tire back on. And I think the front brakes are done at this point. I think what we're going to do is we'll... We'll, uh, well, let's go ahead and knock out the, the rear, and uh, and then we'll drop it, and we'll uh, add some oil. Um, I think we might wait till, what's happening? Oh, that's what's happening. That's what's happening. All right, we think we're talking about new discs back here. You can already see through the, yeah, caliper. 
that up. Let it soak for a minute or two. Okay. Oh, this is going to need pads, too. These pads are at 17%, and this brake disc is at 7%. So, again, we don't even get the joy of having to put it on the lathe. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. Come on, chief. All right, so these look like they're okay. If we check the brakes now. Yeah, we've got everything we need. Um, brake disc and brake pads. Let's, I'm going to go see, but again, I think because it's below that 15% threshold, I don't, I, I think it's garbage. You don't have it. You don't have it. You don't have what it takes <laughs> to fix this thing, man. All right, so, um, you're okay. That's why you're still together, right? We can go ahead and, uh, actually, no. We can put this wheel back on because we don't need that. All right, so we'll rebuild over here. We're going to need a, a brake disc. Again, non-ventilated because it is a rear, and we also need pads, so we're going to grab that. Oh, I didn't see. Pads are listed at 40. We're getting them for 36. Um, not a bad deal. Brake disc goes on. New pads go on. Put the caliper back together here. 67 and a 70%. Ooh, wrong button, Pete. Wrong button, Pete. There we go. And the tire goes back on, and I think I think we're going to go ahead and drop it. We'll put the new ABS pump on, and the brake the brakes will be done at that point. And we'll put the uh, we'll refill the oil so that we can run some tests. I think we'll do that next time, um, and we will figure out what the uh, what the issues are with the engine. Uh, yeah, so we want that, and we're going to put this pump back on. Pump we were able to fix to 100%. The client will thank us because, again, the pump in the module very expensive. Those are high-dollar parts. And we got that. We were able to repair it for him, so he was, or he or she was able to save some cash. So now we're going to uh, refill the oil because we gave it an oil change, put the new oil filter on and we're gonna have to uh last but not least we'll deal with some of the engine issues but we'll do that in the next episode i didn't count so i'm gonna have to check the. i'm gonna have to check the dipstick because i wasn't i wasn't counting <laughs> oh that's good I'm, I'm okay with that we're not we're not to totally to max but we're we're good okay um so yeah, general engine control and repair. Whoop. We're looking at two, four, six, seven parts. General. Uh, okay, I'm seeing some ignition ignition wire issues. You can see it's kind of cracked. Uh, I'm gonna pull those. Let's pull those real quick. Yeah, let's go ahead and pull these. Take a look. Fourteen percent. I don't know if you can fix ignition wires, but should we see? Let's go to the board. Ignition wires. You cannot fix them. Don't try it. Pete tried it. Didn't work. Don't worry about it. You don't have to fix it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and grab that. And I'm going to put it on there twice, just so I don't forget the first time and we got to go to the electronics so tab it says two 55 credits we're gonna get a 49 i'm only gonna buy one though uh i know i know it said two but i'm not buying two I'm gonna buy one all right so let's get into this and we want to uh oop Put these ignition wires back on. Actually, before we do that, can we look at? Yeah, we're looking at. Uh, we need a. Oop, 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 oop. Pete, uh, my fingers got. 
We got a spark plug that needs replacing. Uh, glow plug? Spark plug. Thank you. Nope, we're already there. Spark plug can go back on. We'll put these ignition wires back on. Where are we at now? Five parts not discovered. Five parts not discovered. What else? Just visually, you know, just going around visually and looking. What do you see? Uh, oh, battery's not. I don't think it's. I don't think it's bad. It's just old. All right. Like I say, this uh, air filter base, we tested it, so it's not bad, but it, it, it looks like it's getting close. Um, if we go here, and let's just run a few tests before we take off. We should have an OBD. No, it doesn't. Okay. What year is it again? An 89. Okay. 89. We're going to go with the fuel pressure test. Let's see if there's any issues here. So let us know if the fuel fuel rail is in shape. Uh, the filter's at 100%. The pump is at 67%. So I don't think there's anything wrong with the fuel system. And if we look, we're looking at 56. So anything under 56% we need to uh, we need to address. What about the tread tester? How are them tires doing? Standard tile 65, 59, 60, and 67. So those are okay. We're all right with that. We're going to go to the electronic multimeter now. Throttle looks like it's okay. I'm still continuing just kind of a visual inspection. Alternator's fine, it looks like. Fuse A looks fine. 57% though. It's close. I always think it's funny because of the radiator fan housing and the <laughs> uh, radiator fan housing fan are part of the electrical system. Okay, again, all of these things look fine, so we're not worried about those. Compression test. Oh, crankshaft and a piston with Conrad, piston rings, two sets of piston rings. For, oh. You know what that means, folks? We're going to leave this till the next time, but we're going to have to take it apart, pull the crankshaft. We're going to have to replace at least one piston with Conrad's and two sets of piston rings. So still got a lot of work ahead of us on this here vehicle. So come on back next time and we'll get her done and we'll keep moving on. Obviously, we're going to be working on the 89 Salem Karen, and uh, we'll get her done, and we'll get her out of here, and uh, we'll move on. We'll continue to work on our Katagari Katsumoto. I will have the numbers, so we'll be able to see just how much we put in, and uh, hopefully we will be able to turn a profit. Uh, I'm going to have to rely on my friends in chat uh, messaging me and whatnot, letting me know, um, how to use the dyno because we are, uh, definitely, I think we're going to have to try and plus this a little bit to hopefully get extra, you know, to get top dollar. So, but until I see you again, be well, be safe. No, wait a minute. I forgot my tagline. Be safe, be well, be good. And be back here next time and we'll get after it. And until I talk to you, have a good one. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.